Um, get out of here. I, I don't know what it is. The, I, nobody likes carbonets. Everybody likes sandpipers better. Fine. I'm joining Team Sandpiper, so I'll be popular now. Um, y'all, don't, don't tell Hope. Do not tell Hope. She's nine months pregnant. She will get mad. She won't understand. Don't, don't, don't. What? 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 No! 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 So, the folks over at Nighthawk Gliders uh, started something that I'm going to finish. Maybe. I'm going to try. So, as, as you know, this is our Carbonet 19. This is one of the larger catapult gliders that is available for commercial purchase. Um, and, in general, it's, it's, this is the largest catapult glider uh, that I have, have operated. 19-inch wingspan. Real nice design for the little AMA catapults. However, because Bruce had to, to build bigger, I decided on this. Just look at it. It's so huge. <laughs> so, this is like, uh, I think about 30 grams. Actually, maybe, actually, probably less than that. This is 120. I mean, this is a beast. Um, and it's actually built fairly light for what it is. I mean, it feels, it feels decently solid, but, um, it's, it's got a lot of wing. I mean, this is a 6-inch wing cord. Uh, 36 inch uh, flat span, so I think it's about 32 inches as it stands here. Um, I literally just I threw this together last night. I found some uh, some wood up in the attic that, that looked like it would work, and uh, and I built it out. So it's uh, it, I mean it's got got all the all the amenities. It's got your uh, your stand foil uh, airfoil. Um, no dethermalizer or anything like that. I didn't I didn't fiddle with that. Um, 3 16th inch uh, protruded carbon tube, which um, I don't know if you can, yeah, yeah, you can see. Uh, I'm a little concerned that may be, that may be a little thin. Um, and uh, this is, this, this is not, other than throwing it out in the dark, this, this has not flown. So uh, I threw a bunch of lead in it and, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, it has been raining. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, got your catapult hook here, got a, a thing in the back. In case you can't tell, there's no way you're going to fire this off of an AMA catapult. I mean, I guess you, you could, but it would go like 10 feet. This thing's huge. So anyway, let's, uh, now the wind's calmed down a little bit. Let's give this a test glide. Not the wind, the rain. It hasn't been windy today. Let's see here. I think it's a little nose heavy. Actually, let's see. Yeah, it actually is nose heavy. Uh, I'm just going to take that work back out of the stab. Let's see what that does for us. Well, it helps to throw it better. Is pretty good. So it's about the same weight and wing area as my uh, electric E36. Uh, I think glides about the same. So I'll have to see how that goes. I'm going to wait for the rain to die down just a little bit more and then I'm going to show you something really fun. 
All right, so Brad and Bruce had this this jury rigged catapult thing, and not to be outdone, I have my own jury rigged catapult thing. Do not try this at home. I have it roped to a, a fence post. Uh, right now we got six strands of one eighth, about uh, 50 inches long. I hope that this will actually clear. Ah! Oh yeah! Pull out, pull out, pull out, Blackie! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this thing is, is sealed pretty well and it's still, I mean, it's wet, it's very, very wet, and it is not happy. So I gave it some left rudder and some up elevator. Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about, except for the tree. folks you saw it here the carbon at 36 it's got a little bit of work to be done that tail boom is it's not happy um but yeah uh no i'm not planning to offer a kit but if enough people want it um Obviously, it won't have the whippy tail boom, but still understand you're paying 60 plus dollars for a catapult glider that's not really for competition. But if you want to have fun, yeah, there you go. See y'all.